<laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, this is Miggy Ferrero Rusher from San Diego, California. Just got back home from the Swallow the Sun concert in San Diego. And it was fucking sick! Man, Swallow the Sun is probably one of the biggest, like, doom metal bands in the world, I think. They're definitely my favorite band. I would have loved Swallow the Sun. So my yoga instructor gave me some uh, glow sticks, <laughs> like a necklace and two bracelets, and so I ended up putting them on and I went to the concert with the glow sticks. <laughs> and I got a lot of looks. It was funny. Also, uh, oh, I was rocking out so hard, like, before I got there, I don't know if people were rocking out, but I got there and I started rocking out so hard. <laughs> and uh yeah it was great i think i don't know i mean i just like yeah went straight to the front of the stage and started rocking out <laughs> i was rocking out in front of the guitarist uh it was like uh stage right and like whatever's causing yeah. that it's a lot closer <laughs> at the end he like he was kind of looking at me and like was gonna hand out the set list but I, uh, I don't know, I'm not like a sexist guy, kind of guy, and like, there was this girl right next to me that was rocking out a little bit, and she was like, all about grabbing that set list, so like, you know, <laughs> like, go for it, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a set list type of guy, for me, uh, for me being, uh, for me, set lists are kind of like just pieces of paper, you know. Like uh, I, I don't, I don't need them. But I know people love set lists and collect them, and that's cool, you know. I mean, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's not for me. Not that way. They sounded great. Brick by Brick did a great job making Solid of the Sun sound super, super good. The, the brick by brick did a great job of making Swallow the Sun sound super good. Long drop. I'd say the show was like maybe like the brick by brick was like maybe medium packed. Cause there's that whole back section. And I know I've been to the freaking uh what was the show that was like sold out? Long drop. <laughs> uh, dang, I can't remember. Not I went to like a freaking sold out show at the Brick by Brick and literally like nobody, nobody would fit in that. Like it was like, I know Morbid Angel like sold out. Morbid Angel sold out for sure. And uh, oh my God, I just remember which one is the one I went to. The one I went to that was sold out was Death to All. Death to All was fucking sick at the Brick by Brick. Oh my god. But yeah, so... Um, back to this All the Sun show. Uh, yeah, the... The venue was, like, half... Half full. You know? And, like, the bar... T the bar ten The bar lines were, like... You know, manageable. They weren't, like... Like, too long or anything, you know? Sometimes the lines will just kill a kill a van, you know. If the lines are too long, but yeah, everything was perfect. Like, I talked to this guy from Ohio who had just moved there, moved to San Diego, and he was telling me that Batushka was his favorite band, and that he came here specifically to see Batushka, right? Like he 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 had never even heard of Swallow the Sun, and I was like, okay, well that's cool. And so he started telling me that Batushka is like one of the most popular bands in Poland. And he basically said that they're the Metallica of Poland, which 
<laughs> I mean, when I when he told me that, I believed him because I'd never I've never heard of Batushka. Like, I mean, I've heard of them, but I've never listened to their music. You know what I mean? And like, I mean, I don't know why. It just just didn't come across, you know. And uh, like, it sounds like Russian or something. And uh, I don't know. So, anyways. I listened to Batushka for the first time in my life today. And I saw them for the first time in my life today. And yeah, that was a trip. Like, they filled brick by brick with uh, candles. And they freaking uh, had all these, like, uh, candle stands. And there was, like, maybe, like, at least 15 super skinny uh, candles from on those stands. And then uh, they have like, uh, like, like banners, you know, like type, like, like clerical banners, but like evil clerical banners. But uh, I'm not entirely like, uh, uh, it's hard to explain, but it's like a lot of like I I icons and symbols, you know, like that that are basically their own style, and and they're basically like uh, some kind of like Eastern European. Uh, Polish, uh, uh, it's like a Polish band, right? And so, like, yeah, I don't know. So, I listened to them and I saw them play. And oh, yeah, they came out like wearing these robes, right? Like, they all came out like wearing these wizard robes, and uh, and, and they had like pointed hoodies, and uh, each pointed hoodie had Good way to break your uh, like like different types of symbols, uh, all all in bright white, and their faces were covered with like a type of black mesh. And uh, what else? They were the they were the way they lined up. The way they came, walked into the stage was first two band members of Atusha came out and they started light lighting these candles like super slowly and 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 then they and then like you know th like there's like this weird like atmospheric music kind of like evil e Russian Eastern Russian <laughs> Eastern Polish uh, like music like you know, like just kind of like the soundscape, like it's instrumental, and it was really the obvious. And it, and it, whoa, they really like set the tone and the vibe for the whole show, right? And then the, the singer comes out with like a frankincense, like um, a frankincense holder, and. Uh, You know, I don't really like the smell of frankincense or myrrh, whatever it was he was burning. But he started like, you know, waving the frankincense burner around the stage and, um, you know, just kind of blowing it into the crowd and stuff. So, and yeah, like the, they started playing, and you know, it was just it was fucking brutal. It was like amazing. Cause they sing in like Eastern Polish uh, old language. That guy was telling me, right? Like, like he was comparing it to Latin. It's like the Latin of Poland, and so that was like trippy in itself. And uh, I think a funny note about that band was that they're wearing these mesh masks. And they're in the dark and they can't see shit, right? So it's like, it must be hard to see their equipment while they're playing. So props to them, because they really, really knocked it out of the park with like their speed and precision, you know? Uh, everybody at the Brick by Brick was there to see Batushka, right? I mean, I... I, I saw a few, I saw this one guy that was there to see Saw the sun also. Like, he was just as pumped as me. Uh, and he was like jumping up and down, kind of like. Instead of mashing, he was like jumping. But like jumping really high. Got like. 
right? And he, <laughs> he's really tall too. He's uh, so I was just kind of like right next to him. I was shooting some video. I was shooting some sick video of him playing. So I'll post it on my uh, on my Instagram or something. I mean, I already posted it on my Instagram, but I'm gonna post like the full song I recorded. I did a fucking great job recording that fucking song. Yeah, I think I'll post it on my YouTube. Post it like on their page or whatever. Just, just because they're fucking awesome. I'm pretty sure they recognize me because I, I mean, I've been fucking. I don't know how many times I've seen them play. I've seen them play a lot, you know. I'm pretty sure some one of them recognized me. I wonder if the singer recognized me. I wonder if anybody recognized me. <laughs> I wonder if anybody recognizes me. Oh. <laughs> what a <laughs> What if they didn't recognize me? I mean <laughs> Oh shit, it's yeah, fucking dark. No Alexa, so all lights it. off. Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. No, I like it in the dark, fuck you. <laughs> oh, what? Dude, are you serious? Come on, old man. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Jesus Christ, he just... Does he like torpedo everywhere? That's not working. Wonder what's inside. So yeah, that was a pretty sick show. I guess there's something else I could talk about because I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, guys. Hold on. I'm streaming on the Xbox so I can walk around the house while I do shit and check this shit out. I got this, uh, well, it's not a tea, it's a, shift and it, it, they have like six different flavors they're they're dietary supplements uh, that you mix with water right the directions are mix 12 ounces of cold water uh, and, and have a, one of these pods like so the packaging has like these pods inside and I'm really excited about this. So uh, the flavors I got were... Uh, my favorite flavors actually were Citrus Medley, the one that has turmeric. That one was like actually my favorite. And then there was the Lemon Raspberry. This one has electrolytes. <laughs> it's what the body craves. And... And then there's this uh, strawberry peach, which is a recover post workout, and that's the one I'm gonna drink right now. Yeah. And then they also gave me this sick cup, the sick uh, blue shift side pick bottle, and uh, it, it's basically like this cool little fucking water bottle that you use to mix this blue shift powder with. But my favorite thing about this is that it has a little twist off uh, cup, right? And so you can put 
one of each capsule in there, right? So I could put one pod, that's my post-workout. I can put another pod. Another pod that's like my electrolytes. And then I can put another pod that's like my turmeric. Right? I mean, how sick is that? So there's this little cup, and I could just like twist it back onto this blue shift water uh, water container. Well, what's it fucking called? Blue shift side pick bottle. Right? So I loaded up the bottom of the side pick bottle with three pods. And now I'm twisting off the top. Oh my god, inside they surprised me with more pods oh my god they gave me a pre-workout uh, a post-workout and they electrolytes what how the fuck did that happen i feel like i just got david copperfield somehow <laughs> i got david copperfielded somehow no for real it's like how the fuck did the ones the same exact flavors that i bought in packages Actually, I think what I'm put pre workout, post workout, electrolytes. So, electrolytes is the only one that was like a duplicate of the ones that, are, that were surprising me, surprising me inside of, inside of the, bottle, the side pick bottle. Right, so, I'm going to watch this. I'll wash this bad boy. Just rinse it, you know, because it's brand new. You don't want to drink out of a water bottle, water or container. You don't want to. You don't want to drink out of a blue shift sidekick with, uh, you know, when it's new. You don't want to do that because just what they do when they make these, they they spray them with some sort of like a with like a it's a it's like a varnish that makes the products makes all products have this brand new smell it's that new car smell yeah so they they use that to give products that brand new smell so that's why when you buy it When you buy it, you're like, oh, that's fucking cool. It smells like a new car. I love new cars. Right? I mean, who doesn't fucking love a new car? Okay, so I put the fucking ice. I put like 10 ice cubes. And then I put the shaker ball in there. And then I'm going to get the recover post-workout, which is the peach strawberry. That's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I think my washer is. Uh, I think my washer is ready. Okay, so now I'm pouring the powder, the Blue Shift Recover Post Workout Strawberry Peach Flavored Powder. I'm putting the Blue Shift Recover Post Workout Strawberry Peach Powder inside of the freaking. Blue shift, buddy. <laughs> Sidekick. <laughs> uh, it'd be the worst at like two commercials. What's the product called again? It's called the Sidekick. The side, the buddy. The. <laughs> Cut. Take four thousand twenty-two. <laughs> And that's when I put the powder in the blue shift sidekick. Yay. Oh my god, that, that reminded me of Johnny Knoxville in that TV show. Where he plays a... Uh, he plays an actor from a family sitcom that it gets rebooted. 
Oh my god, this new... I'm not gonna lie, this blue kick, blue side kick, blue shift side kick. This blue shift side kick really is my new favorite cut. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, just because it's like so. It's. The form factor of this blue shift side kick is. It is. shaped like a tall boy. Basically, it's like holding a tall boy, and the cap looks really sturdy. It's got like a um, loop here to hook onto a uh, carboner. It's got this twist off cap that looks fucking sturdy as fuck, and then it's got this bottom cup where I can stash extra. Blue shift sidekick powders. <laughs> and yeah, anyways, nobody paid me to to freaking nobody paid me to say this. I am not affiliated in any way, shape, or form to the blue shift company. I just really enjoyed their presentation this today. And their customer representative was made. So, I certainly want to buy more of these Blue Shift powders. Because it's a refreshing beverage that re. Oops, I forgot the remote controller. I forgot the game controller. <laughs> Oh shit, that was good. Oh wow. Dude, having this shaker changes everything. I literally can't believe it. She gave me such a sick shaker. And she was like, oh, I drew a mini too. <laughs> so then we had like mini family vibes. This mini family, yo. Uh. Okay, so I bet we're gonna start like fighting shit. Sorry for just like you know, just rambling about random shit. Okay, guys. You know, I mean, I just do this to keep myself entertained, and that's it. Nothing. Just like getting baked. No power. And then get, getting sometimes streaming and you know, having a little like? fun. Oh shit. That can't be good. Oh. <coughs> it's a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, who is who is in charge here? Me or you? <laughs> you need to step back in line. Where are you going? I'm talking to you. No, come back, you dummy. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, you stop. Where are you going? I need to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. Wait. No. Stay. Okay. Do you feel very uncomfortable? <laughs> Am I in your personal space? <laughs> uh, yeah. Why do you run away? <laughs> okay, yeah, that was stupid. Let's go. Let's get back to work, boys. Let's get back to work. Hey, that door open. So what is this like a a little stash of bullets and electricity? Okay. 
There is a container with a pistol scope and a soft chitin. Okay, so I got a pistol scope now. What now what? Let's uh let's hide back here just in case somebody wants to fucking ambush me while I'm doing some shit here. So where's my pistol scope? Nope. Nope. Pistol. 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 Uh, mm -mm. Pistol mods. So scope. Yeah, they probably don't want me to mod my... Oh, let's see, there's like a shield, which means we're... Okay. So what is this anyways? Okay, well... Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do next time. I'll just cover the microphone. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God. So what time is it? Oh, by the way, I need to put my clothes in the dryer. I forgot about that. But I can tell we're going to start getting down on some shit here. I got a little bit of allergies, so I smoked some of the pots. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking clothes in the dryer. I swear to God, I was going to go look for my phone again on Instagram. It's so addicting. I hate it. I love it, but I hate it. I love it, but I, but I hate it. I fucking love it, but I hate it. Uh, well, thanks for listening to me, guys. You know, sometimes a guy just needs to vent. Uh, about stuff. Talk to people. And just basically take it easier, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm totally vibing with someone and I'm just cracking myself up about it. But yeah. I've been watching too much Love Island, you know. When you watch too much Love Island, you pretty much feel like Maybe. everything is then it got hit by a tornado. Love Island. Look at Love Island. <laughs> Weird, you hear that? Looks 
like they were trying to tunnel in. Uh, watch it. What is it? Oh shit. Uh, Alright guys. So now killer robots too? Huh. Get back home with love this place. Uh where'd the robot go? Was that it? It's like, I never get if he's gonna like jump or torpedo. Yeah, you can run and torpedo. Any theories, recall specialists? Some kind of technology on this planet. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Hello. I'm home. Oh, is this... I thought we were just here. I must have taken the wrong turn somewhere, guys. I'm sorry. Whoa. Guess a circuit overloaded. Even the equipment's out to get us. No. Uh. Something is beeping. Not sure what it is yet. Weird. If that's poison, I know who to blame. Who are you gonna blame if you're dead after breeding poison? Hmm? Yeah, I can hear the dryer running, so that's good. So I guess we need to go around. Have we been in this room yet? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we have. Dude, we literally just came to this room. There's something over there. Such a badass. Oh, okay, that door doesn't open. I feel we're back at the beginning. Sorry, you guys. Yep. Been there, done that. Been there, been there. That's that corridor. Last time we went to the... Uh, yeah, we're going this way. We're going that way. Weather's still crappy. Are we supposed to go this way? Oh my god, bro. Take all lighted run up and running. Are you just talking us? Starting to feel like it. This is not how I go out. I don't think they're listening. Yeah, not happening.
What am I doing up here? So why do people hate this game so much? I don't get it. That's pretty cool so far. Yeah, you go first, buddy. You go first. You go first. Ah! <laughs> no, come back. I'm gonna make you fall. I'm gonna make you fall. I'm gonna make you fall. Oh, what? What? You are a genius, sir. Where'd you go? 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 <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Is there nothing I can do? Uh, <laughs> he's like glued to the rock to the to the floor. Is this the way up or not? It looks like stairs, but it's not, is it? Silly me. How would I know? Those are not stairs. What would I know about alien structures, anyways? Other than they're weird looking, and I probably need to go up there. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Right. Watch it. Why is he saying watch it? I'm like, not. What am I not getting, bro? What am I not getting? Woo! Woo woo! Look at that view. Just look at that. So, I'm guessing we need to go around the mountain. Cross that path, go all the way around to that star over there. Okay, sounds good to me. Do that. Let's go. See you guys. It feels good to know where we're going. And all we gotta do is just jump off of here and start going that way. Oh, flying rocks, no big deal. I wish you wouldn't call me Ryder all the time. Oh, yeah, Check that out. Now this looks more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then the long range scans were right. This could have been home. Years ago, and then who knows? Uh, am I supposed to go to this palm tree? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to scan it, right? Let's scan this biatch. Boom. You have been scanned. If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah. But what happened to all his friends outside? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Moving. Uh oh, I, I can tell you where to go. Go over there. Go over there. No. Go 
over there. On the move. See, I can ping him. I can ping. Is that always in the game? Or did they fix the game? I honestly don't remember. I had not played this game for... I only played it when it came out. And I think the only reason I didn't continue playing it was because... I think I there was another game that was cooler. Or I might have gotten stuck, you know, like... But, like, you know, I could never kill the first boss of Dark Souls, and then I played it again, I played the game again, after playing Elden Ring, and, and I could beat it. So where are these people? Man, I can't believe I'm drinking. No, I'm not drinking that German one. I'm sure it's a recovery one. Whoa! Now it almost freaking hit me. So, is there like a map or something? I feel so freaking lost. Okay, so. Maybe we need to go like around this valley? Yeah. Definitely new. Wait, what the hell is going on, you guys? Which way do we have to go? We gotta go over this way. What are you doing, sir? Come on, let's go. Is that sound coming from the uh, Alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You can feel the vibration. Oh, this scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. Alien gods, yeah, that's. That's basically... Uh, oh, you mean like a hover? Why'd you guys tell me that before?
to him. What the fuck? Stop opening that thing, Ryder. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Are we going the right way or not? I'm, so, I'm, conf I'm confusing myself again. No, we're going the right way. So... What the fuck? What the? Did you see that? Some kind of flying thing. Added to the list of stuff around here we don't understand. <laughs> Some kind of flying thing. <laughs> that was great. So. Nothing, that's it, that's all there is to it. Ah, oh, fucking A, I hate the map, it's not select. Giant mushroom. What the fuck? That is not natural. Man. Uh, I think we need to get out of here. What are you doing, bro? Like, why do you walk so weird? Yeah. Watch it. More of our friends. Where? Where? Take him out! Put it! That was the last one! We're clear! These things really don't do nothing other than just illuminate. Feel really good. But I'm still a little confused and I think my dry my clothes are done, so I'm gonna call it a night.
we'll come back later and <laughs> try to find our way out of this maze. Anyways, thanks for watching.